Now we turn our attention to Iran, a country notorious for its imprisonment of Christians, particularly Muslim converts to Christianity. Seen as a dangerous Western ideology, Christianity is a threat to the Islamic identity of the Republic, and the government has been arresting more and more believers in response to this. Before we properly get going, I just want to update you on the situation for Maryam Nagash Zagaran, a believer from a Muslim background who was arrested four years ago for violating national security through her work with house churches. Well, in August, she was finally freed, praise God. But although this is fantastic news, Mariam is already facing challenges from the authorities. Moments before she was released, she was taken to the Evin Prison Court to hear testimony by prison medical staff, who accused her of insulting them during one of her visits to the clinic. As a result, she has now been banned from leaving Iran for six months. Do pray for her, that she will be able to adjust to life outside of prison and that she would be safe in Iran, despite persecution from the authorities. We're now going to spend some time praying for other believers who are in prison for their faith in Iran, whilst playing a song written by a secret believer in Iran. Kiana, which is not her real name, is just 17 years old, and in her homeland, believers have to keep their voices down so neighbours don't report them to the police while worshipping. This song, Da'ani, is about God's faithfulness, and the lyrics are written from God's point of view. You know that I am present everywhere. You know that I am with you. You know I am the only power and ruler. I know your heart is sad sometimes. I know your mind is sometimes afraid. But do you know, my spirit is present in every single piece of you. Do you know that I gave my life on the cross for you? You know that I am alive. You know that I am here with you. I know you have faith in me. You are everlasting in me. As the song is playing, you might like to hum along quietly and lift up the believers that you see on the screen in your prayers. Please be aware that the situations of these prisoners could change. And then we'll close with some prayer points at the end. In 2016, at least 193 Christians were arrested or imprisoned in Iran. In the summer of 2017, Open Doors is aware of at least 12 Christians who have been sentenced to a minimum of 10 years imprisonment each for crimes against the state. Sahab Fadai, arrested May 2016, sentenced to 10 years in prison. Yasser Masayib Zadeh, arrested May 2016, sentenced to 10 years in prison. Yusuf Nadakani, sentenced to 10 years in prison and two in exile. Mohammad Reza Omidi, sentenced to 10 years in prison and two in exile. Bahram Nazibov, from Azerbaijan, faces 10 years if he ever returns to Iran. Elda Gulbanov, from Azerbaijan, faces 10 years if he ever returns to Iran. Yusuf Fahadov from Azerbaijan also faces 10 years if he returns to Iran. Nasser Nevad Galtape, Christian convert, appealing against a 10-year sentence. Amin Afshar Naderi, sentenced to 15 years in prison, allowed bail after hunger strike. Kavian Fala Mohammadi, sentenced to 10 years in prison for conducting house churches. Hadi Asghari, sentenced to 10 years in prison, conducting house churches. Victor Batamraz, arrested Christmas 2014, sentenced to 10 years. Rami, son of Victor, on bail for acting against national security. Shamarim Asavi Kabize, wife of Victor, on trial for participating in foreign Christian seminars. Praise God, however, many believers are also being released. Elereza Sayedian, freed August 2015 after being arrested in 2012. Pastor Fashid Fati, freed in December 2015 after five years in prison. Saeed Abedini, freed January 2016 after serving over three years. Amin Khaki, freed July 2016 after being arrested in March 2014. Pastor Baina Marani, freed October 2016 after six years in prison. And Maryam Nagash Zagaran, 
finally freed in August 2017. Let's now spend some time praying for believers in Iran and the work of God there. Please lift up the hundreds of believers who are still incarcerated in prisons across the country, that they would stand strong and lean on God in the face of intimidation or even torture. Pray for those like Kiana, who must worship in secret house churches, that they would be able to continue operating under God's protection and that their congregations would grow in number. Pray that the Islamic leaders in Iran would have visions of Jesus and come to know God's loving, forgiving and just nature.